Rocky Mike, we left Grandma in Singapore. I left my mother-in-law behind in a foreign country because I didn't tell her she was gonna need a visa. Someone DM me and said abandoned granny. <laughs> like delusional this way. But that isn't the only thing that happened on our trip to Sydney, Australia. We've been talking about coming back to Australia ever since our first epic adventure here in 2018. We spent a whole month exploring up and down the eastern coast from the white sands of Whitehaven Beach down to the worldly wonder of of the Great Barrier Reef. This was a bucket list trip and a pivotal time in both our life and business. And clearly, a lot has changed. But coming back to this place brings so many beautiful memories. And the best part is that Catherine thinks we're staying in Australia. And I didn't tell her that we're leaving and going on the trip of her dreams. Now we just gotta get Granny into the right country with the right visa. This is our trip down on the mic. Welcome to Australia. Is it kind of bright? It's a little bright outside, huh, Bonnie? Oh my goodness, we can barely keep our eyes open. Such a beautiful, look at this. Look at this. Australia is such a nostalgic place for both me and Brennan, but last time we were here, life looked so different. Brennan came here 10 years ago, right after graduating from college with a one-way ticket to Sydney and a worker's visa. He worked on a cotton farm in the middle of nowhere, Australia. Why this is nostalgic for me, we came here right after we got engaged in 2018 to commemorate mine and Brennan's engagement and for him to show me Australia. Sydney with this beautiful fiance is not hard to have a good time, guys. So the best part of this trip is that I have no idea what's going on. Japan I knew about, Singapore I knew about, Sydney I knew about, but two months before before we left, Brennan said, I want to surprise you in Australia and you cannot know anything about the trip and I promise you I'm going to give you a trip of your dreams. My mom is in Singapore. She's left behind, but apparently she's in on the plan right now and she thinks it's an amazing plan, but at the same time is kind of freaking out that she doesn't have a visa yet for Australia. I don't even know how long we're in Sydney for, but you're coming along for the ride. He's apparently going to be recording my reactions and so you're coming with us. Like This is going to be a vacation, a surprise for all of us, all right? Boom, let's go. Are you ready to go, bonbons? Let's march. Let's go. I don't know if it's appropriate to say good morning or good afternoon. It doesn't feel like four o'clock because it's technically one o'clock in Singapore, but it's four o'clock here. We've been in the house all day. We've been cleaning up some of our messes slash my mess from earlier in the trip. And you guys probably already know about that or you don't. Either way is fine. Anyway, uh, you'll hear more about that mess here shortly. Yeah, let's film that mess. Not in the hallway of the hotel. Yeah. What did you manifest exactly? Really good looking wifey. Mom Are you visualizing me? Maybe. Yeah. Look how everyone walked out of the way. I was trying to go around them. Then they're trying to go around me. So I was like, okay. So I think we ate in here a bunch because we did right up the street. I love that bag on you. You do? Yeah. yeah. What I was saying is I do have a lot of Australian followers. Yeah, you do. So I got a lot of DMs from people, like, excited. And you've had a lot of them for a long time, too. Yeah. The OGs. Burgers it is? Yeah. Two burgers. Let's do it. Just do it. So, we've only been out of the hotel for like half an hour, but how sick. I love the energy here. It's so light. It's like so lively. Even think about last night. Remember the taxi mess? Do you see how nice those guys were to me? They were like, oh, Crikey, brother, no worries, go over there. Like, it's like they weren't like, such... sit down, get in your place and wine. Like, yeah, that's yeah. how New York would be or LA would be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything, everyone's so light and like happy. I just see a bunch of smiling people. I mean, maybe they're pissed off every now and then. I don't know, but like, my perception right now is everyone's happy in Australia. <laughs> the weather is great. Oh, food's here. Yeah. Let's go get food. Wow, that looks fire. It's so good. So we finally made it to Chanel, the little bun bun. We made it to like our fifth Chanel. Chanel number five is so much. <laughs> 
we've been in four Chanel stores looking for the bag, which we still didn't find because it was two seasons ago or whatever, the color that I wanted. And one of the colors that I did end up liking, they don't have in a bigger bag. So anyway, long story short, I found two other bags that I'm in love with. And one of my followers is joking how it's not Chanel number four, not the fourth store, but the fifth store, Chanel number five, where you're gonna have the best luck. So apparently, that's just what happened. So I got this bag right here. It's freaking gorgeous. And then there's like a new 2023P, whatever that means. So it's a brand new bag that they haven't even launched yet officially. They just got it in today. So it was like a unique bag. Nobody else has it. I love the shape. It's like so cute as a casual wear. And the other one is a little more dressed up. So now I have two options for the trip which I'm super excited about, which I have no idea still where we're going. All I know is my mom's not here. <laughs> my mom's still left behind, <laughs> but we'll somehow figure it out. What are you doing? Are you drooling? All right. What is this? Already being trained for luxury. You like that? I want to do a little unboxing because I did one of these the last time I bought bags in Dubai. So, dun 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 dun. I'm running, you having fun, Baba? This is the bag. I really love it because you can wear it like this, you can wear it crossbody. It's very easy to get in and out of. I feel like as a mom, this comes in handy. I don't think I'm gonna use this as a diaper bag, but you know what I mean. So, that's the first bag. This one is my pop of color. The moment I saw it, I'm like, I have to have this one. <laughs> I love this one because it says Chanel at the top. I am into colors, especially when they're creamy. And then this is like a champagne gold, which I'm all about the gold. Love, can't wait to wear. Orion, are you modeling the bags? Yeah. Are we showing Babushka? Yeah, we like them, huh? Yeah. What kind of child exploitation is going on right here? What, what the f is this, Balenciaga? Get the f out of here. <laughs> and just like that, she's off. Finally giving us our view back. It's okay though. What the hell was that sound? Was that like the going away call? Yeah. That was cool. I've never heard a cruise ship make a song like that. Is it because of the opera house? Like the called? whale of the ocean. Is that what it's called? No. I've what song was that though, Mr. Classical? That was like some Princess of the Seas f***ing shit made by some f***ing Fiverr contractor or something. I don't know. You're silly. That was not a classical he piece. Silly Willy, a little Willy, a little Willy, a little Willy. What? Why can you give me that look? That was not a reference to anything. I didn't think you were thinking about that, but thanks for confirming that you were. I was not. <laughs> Happy boy. Who's a happy boy? Ah! I'm Listen. so glad you have a Mercedes. Yeah, why? Yeah. Your wallet, your phone, and then... You look gorgeous as <laughs> You look f***ing amazing. You're a very beautiful woman, and I really love you. Isn't your mama so beautiful? She's just like at home in Australia. She's Margot Robbie. She's Jessica Alba. She's Catherine <laughs> she's in Kina. I know that's how I feel too. La, 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 la. My little toothless smile. God, I love him so much. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Go to the top of the bridge? Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, I thought. <laughs> Catherine just goes, oh, look, that's so cool. They're on top. And I immediately turned the camera at the top of the bridge. Like, oh, yeah, of course. You can climb the bridge. She's like, no, these guys. No, it's really an iconic thing to do. Maybe we should do it. You want to do it with the baby? A little workout? Yeah, what are you doing looking at mommy's boobies? The milkies? So, I've been saying for years that I could live in Sydney for a few months out of the year. I'm like, the, do you do a year? Catherine's like, do you want to live here a year? And I'm like, hold my leg, honey. Show me some places tonight. Show you some places? Yeah, where we live. Okay. I feel like I'm developing a blister that's going to have quite like a callus and then it's easier to walk around. And your shoes? Nice. Oh. <laughs> so Catherine, I don't think I filmed it. You did not Th film this, that part of my th th This is TMI, but this is also facts and truth. So we're in Singapore. After enough time walking around, 
You know what happens? Chafing. The chafe shows up. Mr. Chafe. Listen, this is his part of life. In the jungle alone sleeps. The only way he eats sometimes is if I sing this song. This cat is always interrupting sh so back to our story. We are no stranger to the chief. And neither is Orion because he wears a diaper because he doesn't know how to take care of himself yet. So we happen to have this bomb diaper bomb. And your boy may or may not have actually wiped a diaper bomb all over his wife's legs. And it worked. It's great. And the irony of that is that when we were dating, I may or may not also be no stranger to the chief. And I would actually ask Catherine to like... <laughs> A lotion my inner thighs. We're dating, mind you. We are not engaged. It's not just inner thighs, friend. Oh, shut the f up. Take it easy there. But yeah, there's some lotion involved, and when you got thick thighs, it's part of the thick thigh family. It's part of life. So, anyway, that's my two cents. Damn, let's go to the club. What do you think? Do the chicken, do the chicken, do the chicken, chicken, chicken. Story time. We actually ate here five years ago for lunch. I remember being hot as balls. I'm it's tired. Very like hot. jet lag. He's pooping and he just spit up all over me. Can you help me please? Oh my god, wait, this is Suniva Johnny. Is it? No. Babe, yes it is. It's a famous corner. Why does that look like Greece too? Looks like Centurini proposal. G Wagon. You got the Chanel. Tokyo. Tokyo. Shut up. You got that purse. Safari, Paris, penthouse in LA, right? Isn't that what the top right is? No, New York, but I didn't want to live there. It's just like a penthouse life. Wow. Okay, so Catherine's losing her because of what she manifested from this moment five years ago. Aww. Oh my god, I'm such a You're a baby. baby. Look at that hair. This is our initiation as business partners right here. Uh, the chips? The chips in the, side, in the middle, the side, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Ryan, are you cute boy? So what are we up to this morning? Going to the zoo. We woke up at 8.30, had our team meeting. Now we're going to the Taronga Zoo. We're having lunch. We're gonna take a water taxi. Catherine looking cute as Orion with his hands in his mouth and face constantly. And daddy looking like men in black. It's a lifestyle, what can I say? <laughs> I'm learning facial massage, babe. It's very important. I'm trying to get a snatched jawline, oh everybody. These girls on TikTok. <laughs> So snatched? Snatched. Being a waterfront spot, obviously you've got to go for the seafood while you're here. Mmm. Okay, the sauce is bomb. Is it yummy? Mmm. What does it taste like? Try it, bro. Dude, are you kidding me? Look what I have on my plate. No, no, no. Just try it. Those are really good. Okay, so we've been through the yellow tail, it was bomb. We've been through the oysters, they were bomb. The salad was great. Catherine ordered the salmon, and I ordered something special that I only find in Australia. And I think I have found it one time before in the States, but it's called a Moreton Bay Bug. I don't know how to describe this thing. It looks kind of like a horseshoe crab, kind of like a lobster, kind of like a stingray. It's like this lobster thing that's kind of in like this little circle shape, and they're called Moreton Bay Bugs, and they're from Moreton Bay, and they're delicious. This doesn't sound very good, bugs. <laughs> It doesn't sound very good, but it's insane. It's like sweet lobster. It's a really unique dish, a really unique animal. I'm excited to share with you. So what do you remember of our first trip here? It was really stressful. What else? So we landed in Sydney first, right? We watched the fireworks. We worked our asses off. We switched hotels twice. In Sydney, twice. Because we Sydney. couldn't afford the New Year's Eve one. We went to Brisbane. We worked our asses off in Brisbane, did not explore it. <laughs> then we went to Gold Coast. Gold Coast, we had some fun, I remember, but also worked our asses off. We had a most epic helicopter Crazy. tour of the Great Barrier Reef, went snorkeling via helicopter. Then we landed on Whitehaven Beach, which is one of the most famous beaches. Oh. 
That's and amazing. we set up a picnic for us with an umbrella. I and actually, champagne. I remember, I remember recording a podcast on our balcony, and I'm like going hard on this podcast. I finish it. It took me like 30 minutes to record it, and then I hear clapping. <laughs> like what? It's our neighbor sitting on his balcony. Literally, it's like, what do you do for a living? That was amazing. And I was like, thank you. So you got like a live podcast recording. It was great. Sick. Um, and then we came back to Sydney, and I remember when we came back to Sydney, we actually had fun because we saw Amber. Amber and Chain, if you're watching this, we love you. We miss you. We think about you every day. We took a water taxi, went to the restaurant, we got drunk. Like, wait, so, what time is it? Uh, it's we have 15 minutes. We're fine. How long is the taxi wait? I don't know. We'll find out. Around and find out. You'll around and find out. I love that. We probably have the most fun out of everyone because we give no what anyone thinks. Like, not once has it crossed my mind to check in. It's like, what does everyone think of us? Like, filming and dancing and being ridiculous I used and to having be a so baby. I'm uptight about it too. People are like, you're so degaff. Like, you're so relaxed. What did you do? And I'm like, rapid resolution therapy, baby. Same thing. Same on that side. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow, beautiful. Gorgeous. Wow. Fantastic. Look at these guys. This is a Morton Bay bug. Catherine's gorgeous salmon. Okay, now we gotta eat because we gotta talk to you. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go. Bye. Bye. Okay, and just like that, we are headed for this little water taxi. I love this. I know they have this in places like Seattle and other places too where you can take a boat, but in general, you know, it's kind of a luxury. We're just gonna cozy right on up. Here comes Catherine and Orion. Ready for your little water chariot? He's yes. been on boats while I was pregnant. So I know. The zoo. And you're like, what the f is the zoo? <laughs> it's like, what the f is happening? Period. Do you see the elephants? Oh, Ryan's a little concerned. Well, we're at the zoo. Here we are. Mom's dream is to go to the zoo with the baby, but now she's got to pee and put the baby down. But we made it. I mean, you can stay this small forever. <laughs> that I would run into on the farm all the time. Oh yeah? You don't want to run into one of these guys when you least expect it. Oh, it's Savannah! Where are we going? We went to the African Savannah a month before this guy was conceived. Oh. So rather unfortunately, my men in black cover has been blown. I'm currently dressed like a Nazgul from Lord of the Rings to like a Dementor or something, I don't know. Catherine's cute as hell. Her like cute little, cute, cute, cute little baby, cute little chafing. umbrellas. My thighs are no chafing today. Meanwhile, I am chafing, dressed like a ring wraith, so that's that. Traveling in Rwanda and Kenya, but zoos like this are my second favorite. I wish you would still go to Australia Zoo, but it's okay. Next time. <laughs> well, if you're gonna live here for a year, it's easy. Easy ass, mate. Easy ass. Catherine, what's that song like in TikTok where it's like, you ever just like look at your person and just, how did I land you or something? Yeah, yeah. That's me. Oh my God, you see that one? I love the innovation of how easy it is. It's not like a sign that says donate one day. It's yeah. like credit card, tap, boom, done. Hi, cutie. Dad life. Dad life. Mm. Oh, look at the birdies right here. Oh, they're doing it. He's doing her. He just did her. <laughs> Brennan, Damn. there's kids here. Dude, we always catch the on 4K. <laughs> it's crazy. First it's hyenas, now it's these ducky Australian bush wild things. That was crazy. Two dudes. You guys. I found the ruse. We love the ruse. Why does it look like they're staying at a hotel behind them? It is. So, have we fulfilled your zoo dreams today? Yes. The one thing Catherine had to do in Sydney, she really wanted to come see the chimpanzees. I've been teasing Catherine for days now, maybe weeks, and she Months. still has no idea, and it's well, great. Well, you threw me off when you said we're not going east. Like, we're on the edge of the world. Where are we going? Off the edge, it's flat. <laughs> Okay, so Catherine has absolutely no idea where we're going, but we're going to to meet up with Mama, and we're gonna stay at the 
private island. She has no idea. She's gonna poop herself. And y'all coming along for the ride. I looked at all the locations coming up in an hour or two. What? I looked at all You're the locations. You're such a little, you can I don't know where we're going. Yeah, I know, because it's like, are we going to Palawan? Yeah, we're going to Palawan. Yeah, it's Palawan. We're in Palawan, the Philippines. It's the final countdown. <laughs> Okay, so the plan of attack is, I'm gonna try to go to the front desk and see if I can basically do the full check-in without her at all. We'll find out if I can make that happen, but we're on the clock. Update, I still don't know where we're going. Brendan is checking in, and I still don't know, are we going international, domestic? Where's my mom, is she coming? Did she get her visa approved? <laughs> Details, I don't know. See you. Took a little sweat and a lot of extra work, but she still doesn't freaking know, and we're ready to go through security. Are you getting my reaction? Patience, my love, patience. <laughs> Where are we going, babe? We're going to see the wizard, the one of the wizard of Oz. Stop. We are almost to our gate, about to unveil the surprise. Okay. So where are we going? I don't know. I don't see it. The Philippines. Naughty, what's naughty? It's the Philippines. No, it's not, what is it? Is it Philippines? We're going to the Philippines. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Not East Fiji, b <laughs> <laughs> And it's not anywhere in Fiji. It's Kokomo. For a week. Get the on this plane. Let's go. 